Okay, well, welcome back to my channel. This is James, and I'm um, going to start building this Barnstormer um, RC kit. So before we get started, I do want to talk about quickly about my the build area. So um, let me put this over here. Get this out of the way for a second. So I'm going to build the build the plane on top of this this acoustic ceiling panel. Now this is two by four, and um, you can get these ceiling panels from any well from some hard hardware stores. And um, usually they come in a pack of you can get them in like a crate or a pack of like eight or so, or maybe they sell them individually. But these are really nice because um, if you have to, <coughs> excuse me if you have to pin something down onto the um, onto the work surface. Um, it's pretty thick. They're about a half inch. They're about a half inch thick or so. And if you have to pin something down um, with like T pins, um, it's pretty. They're pretty strong. And um, it's a nice work surface to work on. It's easy. You can you can cut on it. You can do what you do what you want. So um, it's a nice way to protect your your um, your table. And but also it's a really good way to um, to to build the kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover. I'm just going to kind of protect it with some parchment paper. And like I said before, there's this kit is not going to be built directly on the plans. I think the wing, um, I can do that. And then um, the like the um, rudder and the elevator, not so much the rudder, but the elevator, I think I'm going to pin those down. But it's actually not necessary based on based on the um, on the instructions. So for the adhesives, I'm going to use not all these. This is just the stuff that I have, but um, I'm going to be using some CA, some CA glues, probably thick and thin CA glues. And I'm going to maybe use some just old fashioned wood glue. And I have in here some five minute epoxy, um, just your, you know, JB Weld standard stuff. And then I also have some slow curing 30 minute epoxy um, that I'll be using. And then some epoxy resin. I don't know if I'll be using epoxy resin because I'm not really going to be finishing the wood. Um, like you would on another kit where you're going to paint it or something. And that's that. And then I think I will use, you know, for filling gaps, and I'll go over this, but for filling gaps um, in using a CA glue, you can use baking soda or like sometimes some people use um, just wood shavings or, you know, kind of like sawdust um, to, to fill in areas and then use the, um, the CA glues to, to kind of bond that, that section. So there are probably um, some times when I need to sort of fill in an area and I'm going to use baking soda for that. So that's it for the adhesives. Of course, you're going to have some tools. I'm not going to go over all the tools and everything, but sandpaper, you know, files, things like that. Again, this is a th simple kit, so it's not going to be a whole heck of a lot to, um, to, to work with. You're not going to be, sh I'm not going to be shaping all kinds of blocks and doing, doing that type of thing. <clears throat> okay, next, let's look at the plans. So let me move this out of the way. This is just a single sheet. And the instructions, I said in the um, other video that this is written in English and Japanese. There's also German on here, so this is an international kit for sure. Um, so it has two sides. It has the wing, the wing and, you know, pictures of the fuselage looking from the side. Um, and then they don't give you the full wing. So probably what I'll do is I think what I can do is I can build build one wing panel and then do another one and just flip it because it's a um, it's a symmetrical it looks like a symmetrical airfoil um, if you look right here it's a symmetrical airfoil so I can build I can build one wing and then just do like a mirror flip it over and do the other wing and then and then um, you'll just bond them together in the middle um, here's again is the the uh, elevator um, portion. And so that this will be built on the plans, and the wing will probably be built on the plans. The rudder is just solid pieces, so that doesn't take a lot to deal with that. Um, on this side here, <clears throat> here they're showing the parts on the, right here, but here's the here's the fuselage instructions right here, and again it's sort of a simple just a box box construction. In fact, I think one of the versions they called this, the, they called it like the DOS box or something like that. So um, again, you're not going to build this. This will not be built on, on the plans. Okay, so let's start with the fuselage. So you can see here, it's just going to be, it's just the simple box structure. And um, here's the rails or the engine mounts, which are um, 
nice, very simple. And this is a this is the tail drag or or the tail um, skid or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and put an actual wheel and hook it into the hook it into the the rudder. So there is the fuselage, and here's the instructions. You, you only have um, you know one one small instruction area. It's almost like looking at a looking at like a puzzle, you know, like a like a wooden puzzle or something. Here's the um, the little assembly for the for the landing gear, which is going to go right in here. So okay, so let me pull the parts out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the parts ready, and then we'll come back and start putting this together. I'm going to take these bags of parts out and just put them in a put them off the side. Eventually, I'll, I'll open them up so they kind of have trays to put my put the parts in. I'm going to move this little insert out of the way here. Um, let's see here. I think I had one more little bag. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the landing gear. Yeah, you know they don't give you they don't give you the um, the wire for the control for the control rods for the rudder and the elevator. That's another reason why when I went to the hobby store I went and I just got I just got a set of set of those. I'm not to deal with it. So I, I don't see them anywhere in here. Okay. Alright, so those are the little bags of goodies. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and pull the parts out for the fuselage. Okay, well I'm gonna take out this box so I can put parts into here and I'll just move this off to the side after so this is all wing wing stuff you know this thing well we'll see how it goes I I am worried that there may be a little bit of warping in this kit so we'll kind of see how that how that goes together um, sometimes a lot of times you can kind of fix the warping if you have a little bit it's not that big of a deal but um, all right, this is all wing stuff right here. Just wing stuff there. There's a piece of the. This is for the. <clears throat> this is for the wing. This is the. Um, this is the dihedral um, pieces to get your set your dihedral and then reinforce the wing panels. Of course, here's the aileron. Um, this is all wing stuff. Let's get all, get all this wing stuff out of the way. Yeah, it's all wing stuff. Wing, wing, wing. All right, so here we go. Here's our fuselage parts. So the fuselage parts are um, plywood. So let's see here. Let's pull this out of here. It's this panel here and this panel here. Let's just pull these guys out of here, get them out of the way. All right. Ooh. Here's a little spar. And then I noticed this is one little of the entire kit. There's only one piece that broke. It's this um oops, yeah, it's part of this. It's part of the it's one of the spars. This piece actually is okay, but it's this little thing just broke off. So for a kit that's been sitting around since the mid 80s, it's in really good shape. Okay. So I've got the fuselage parts out. Let's put that down here. And I'm put this box off to the side so we can use that later. Okay, so this is, <laughs> so they give you a little, um, they give you a little key on here or an index showing all the parts, which unfortunately is on the back of the plan. So you're going to have to go back and forth on it. So I can see here, like this is, this is, um, and then you probably won't be able to see that, but this is F15. Anyhow, so I'm going to pull these parts out. So I'm going to pull all these out um, off camera and then get them ready for assembly. Um, what I decided to do was, since they since they give you this you know this key of showing the different the different pieces and the and the numbering, I decided I'm going to go ahead and just write on all my pieces because I don't want to pull pull all this stuff out of here and then have to go back and forth and try to figure out what I'm looking at. So I know this one is um, F15. You know, put that over here. So I'm going to do that to all these. I'm going to go ahead and mark them, um, and then we'll come back. This is, this is F5, and this is F6. 
those are easy to figure out. This is just the bottom. All right, so I got those marked. And this side is also easy because it's just a fuselage side, so you can't screw that up. This is the um, this is the tail skid, so I'm not even going to worry about that piece. Okay, let's pop these out. So here is the. Want to be careful because I don't want to break any tabs off or anything. Let's see here. This is plywood. There we go. Oops. All right. Got another piece here. Here's F6. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, I pulled, pulled that little piece off. That's not good. Press these gently out. There we go. Live and learn. I think if I just kind of press around the perimeter of these little pieces, they'll pop out. There's a little broken piece right there that's came like that, it looks like. That's okay, that's why they make epoxy. It's kind of being kind of a tough one there. Take this thing. A little bit of cleanup on these. There we go. See, they are pretty cleanly punched. Nowadays, those would be laser, laser cut. Fuselage halves. All right. All right, so we have all the pieces punched out. So first thing I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna clean this area up. Let me grab this. I'm gonna keep these, like I said, I'm gonna keep these little scraps of plywood. These will, these will be useful someday, maybe. Okay, so here's all the pieces for the fuselage. I'm going to, they look pretty clean, probably going to just do a little bit of, it's not really too much to clean up on these things, but, boy, look pretty good for the most part. I'm gonna, all right, so I have all the pieces cleaned up for the fuselage and I'm um, going to start putting it together. <clears throat> the thing about poxies or the hard thing about poxies is always trying to make sure that you, uh, first of all, estimating how much you need so you don't waste it or not have enough. And then also um, trying to get the close to the same amount um, out of the bottles. These ones, these ones are by um, Bob Smith Industries. And they have a little, kind of like a little measuring, a measuring um, guide on the side. Um, so it helps you figure out or helps you determine um, that you got the right amount for each side or each, each, uh, each type. So problem is, is that when you do this, then it takes a while for it to kind of settle back down. So it's not perfect. So I'm just going to eyeball it. It's not very much in these bottles. I don't. I don't know. Maybe next time I'll go with a different brand. Yeah. I probably got too much there, but. I always wear rubber gloves because with epoxy, I don't know what it is about epoxy, but no matter how hard I try, I always get it somewhere, it gets on my hands. All right, get that mixed. Boy, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't put enough on here.
this is going to get messy. That's why I got this parchment paper down. Yeah, this actually probably be a, probably did a pretty good job here estimating. All right. And then this is going to go like this. That. Now, what I want to do is clamp this. I have a bunch of clamps. There. That. Do want to make sure I got this right here? close there yeah that's good that looks good okay okay well there's the firewall and that's 30 minute epoxy so that's gonna take at least 30 minutes for it to set up as the bottle says